He treat me like a hoe, take me to Rodeo. He buy me Valentino, Tokyo to Rio. He treat me like a hoe. You know I need a lot of Gucci Fendi Prada. He treat me like a hoe. Yo, he treat me like a hoe. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> Skip it a bit, a bit, a bit. Skip it a bit, a bit, a bit. Hello. 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 Hello, hello, hello. In just one moment, we will be taking a look at what might be the final warning issued to Jeffree Star on TikTok. He's got to learn to get a handle on these emotions, y'all. Can't be threatening people. Can't be saying every little thing that comes to mind, Jeffrey. This isn't 2007. You can't get away with saying shit like that anymore. Mm -mm -mm. They freeze already. Wait, there's tea up on that. Um, I found a way to just refresh it. <laughs> so I don't have to do like the whole like remove video capture device, add capture device, and then like fix all the green screen settings and then like be back to normal. I just have to click one button. I mean like that doesn't that doesn't make it okay. It's still annoying, but it's like better question mark. You know, like uh where did my other tab go? There it is. Jordy, are you on top chat or live chat? I'm on live chat. Hello. Who's the first person? Beep bop. Beep bop. And she's at Walmart. Oh. <laughs> Beep bop was the first person in chat. And they're at Walmart shopping. What's y'all's excuses? Just saying. Just saying. Because I know there's some of you watching right now in sweatpants, hoodie, on couch, feet propped up, double chin exposed, watching this right now. Who didn't get to the chat before someone that is shopping at Walmart got to the chat? <sighs> Just saying. Just saying. Miranda Myers. Hi there. Vonnie. Nikki. Yen Yen. Hi, Yen Yen. Charlotte Hunt. So mad about me like Helen Hunt. So mad about me like Charlotte Hunt. Midnight Kitchen Trip. Hello. The Ankle. Hi, Ankle. Wiz Waltz. ISCN. Purple Haze. Madimi. We have Madimi in the chat. Luna, Jordy's pretzel M&M's, Jordy's skin lips. Jordy's skin lips. I don't know if they're doing too hot today. I ripped a piece of dead skin off of them and they were bleeding for a hot second. I have a bad habit of that. Where's the chapstick? I got on YouTube just as soon as you went live. Oh, thank you, found Mary. Hello. T1 sweat. Oh. Mind of a Pisces. Hello. Blended pantyhose, mismanaged Marissa in the house. Small mouse, hi. Uh, rip resistant pantyhose. Oh, wow. They make those? Arts and crafts, Miss QAF chick. Marta, hi, I'm Marta. I knew a Marta in high school. She actually had her own YouTube channel. Do you guys want to see it real quick? She was like the it girl on YouTube. Um, Marta... God, what was her username? Marta. 
Maybe if I just search like Here it is, here it is. Oh my god, I found it, I found it, I found it. Oh my gosh. Does she still make videos? I cut my hair off. October vlog, pumpkin carving. Okay, I went to high school with this girl. You guys want to see her? We are going to vlog today. I have already done many things today that I did not record, so I apologize, but you don't know what they are, so you didn't, you don't feel like you missed out on anything, so. I'm still using my phone. Um, I also haven't eaten yet, so if I'm shaking, that's why I should probably go make- <laughs> <laughs> If you see me shaking, don't worry, that's why. <laughs> a smoothie so let's go do that but today's agenda is winter clothes dun 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 winter is here although i am at the beach i'm in virginia beach so it's not that cold but i've been needing like these sweaters i've been needing a freaking flannel just to put uh, a freaking flannel could you imagine who the f is this i don't know somebody in chat named marta said hello so it reminded me of this girl i went to high school with and she has a she has her own YouTube channel. At least she's honest. A freaking flannel. Ugh. She was always really nice to me, though. I don't have any bad things to say about her. Oh look, they have a cat. Oh, did these two ever get married? They, these two, they have been, they have been a couple since like, oh boy, uh, 10 years now, 10 years. So she's my age. He was a year younger than us. I don't know if they're engaged by now, but they've been together a very long time. Um, I was friends with his older brother, but not him. Not the flannel, I know. Is this her current or past videos? It looks like on her channel she hasn't uploaded in like a year. Um, so... But I don't know if you guys want to look at. I don't know why you would want to. But she, yeah, she doesn't really post anymore. But she used to be like the queen of YouTube for like a hot minute. She used to do Fashion Nova hauls of like, uh, yeah, 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 bikini hauls. She would come on here and do bikini hauls, and one of her videos got like a million views. Which one? Is, which which one? Which one is it? Seven hundred thousand. Black Bow Swim on Tri Hall. I don't know if she was sponsored by Fashion Nova, but she would come on here and she would always do the the bikini stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she would like make like content with her boyfriend, but I don't think she does it anymore. Eh, anyway, okay. Hello, everyone. We are going to be checking out Jeffrey's fight from two nights ago he got in a fight with that sunglasses guy again now we remember the last time that he had an altercation with this guy they were all on live they were chit-chatting or whatever and then glasses guy started to get a little bit belligerent and then uh jeffrey swooped in said the guy that uh he treats women poorly he's he's nasty misogynist um all of the above he called this guy and then he said, get out of here. I'm not giving you my platform. And he got rid of the glasses guy, but the glasses guy came back and they had another fight last night. So when they got in this fight that we're about to watch, Jeffrey called the dad's guy. No, the, 
the, the guy in the sunglasses. I think his name is Zade. It might be it might be something different, but I think it's Zaid. Z a i d. He called Zaid's dad a hoe. <laughs> so, Je- okay, so Jeffrey called sunglasses guy's dad a hoe, and then they went at it, <laughs> and they actually both got warnings that night. I don't know if they got taken down, like their streams got taken down, but. This little argument that they had with one another resulted in a punishment. So I know that Wolfgang put up a lot of shorts. I'm not exactly sure if Wolfgang put up the short of them fighting. But if not, there is another way that we can uh, watch it because one of you did send it to me on Twitter. So we'll just have to look at Twitter. So let's start out with them yelling at each other. Apparently, one of you also tweeted me, Rich Lux got demonetized from TikTok. I don't know why, but it's looking like they're really changing things come 2024. Um, I'm not exactly sure what Rich Lux does on TikTok to warrant getting demonetized, but yeah. So I don't know if he'll be done with TikTok from now on. I don't know, y'all. They're coming after them one at a time. Eugenia was first, Rich is second. Jeffrey's on deck. Barb's. Barb's is going to have to find another platform. Oh, apparently, um, Gen X Renegade fought with me. Um, I have Gen X Renegade muted, so it didn't come up. Let me see if I can unmute the tweet. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is in response to, like, a little drama spat that I had with another channel. This channel is something, like, we've watched this channel on here before. And they, like, two nights ago kind of came at me sideways for no reason. They were saying, like, um, he needs to find his own footage. Uh, everything he says is wrong. Um, like, like I, I thought I was cool with this channel. And they, like, kind of, like, came at me sideways. I don't know if it's because, like, I didn't give them credit for their videos, like, when we've watched them on this stream before. But, yeah, I I don't know. Like, that kind of, like, came at me a little bit weird. I was like, wait, what? But anyway, um, someone tweeted me something that this channel said about my content. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they accused me of blocking them from being able to comment in these live streams, which I've never done. So I was thinking, okay, well, it's possible that a mod blocked them and I didn't know about it. So, you know, like the whole thing that happened with Katniss. So I went in and looked. I was like, oh, did a mod block them and I didn't know about it? No, a mod never blocked this person. So, you know, they were like, as far as I'm concerned, Jordy can go suck it. Uh, He can go find his own content. Okay, here's the thing about that. Finding your own content is something that, like, reaction channels get accused of and, like, thrown in their faces all the time. It's like, well, you know, how about you go ahead and find your own content instead of just reacting to what other people make? That would be somewhat of a valid read from Eugenia or Jeffrey. Like, if they were to say that to me, if they were to throw that in my face, what I didn't really understand is why did this channel throw that in my face? Like, All this channel does is screen record on TikTok, take the screen recording of the footage, and then upload it to their account. So they told me that I need to find my own content, that I'm taking their content. Like, ma'am, all you did was screen record their content and upload it to your channel. So you're getting mad at me for taking your screen recorded content? (laughs) Which, by the way, like... You're, you're not technically supposed to do that. I mean, you're supposed to transform it a little bit. You're not supposed to just, like, take stuff and re-upload it and monetize it. 
the Wolfgang drama is kind of weird. It wasn't Wolfgang. No, it wasn't Wolfgang. I don't I don't want to name this channel just because I don't want to make a bigger deal out of this than it is. But like that's something that went on last night. So someone tweeted me about that. So then Gen X Renegade comes in uh with his take. Iguana and then the name of the channel is far worse than you are. I'll give you that. But neither of you all are creators, and nothing is more hilarious to me than two hateful people argue, arguing over who gets to steal content first. LOL. As far as I'm concerned, both of y'all can suck it. Okay, so Gen X Renegade swooped in with his take. Uh, <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh boy. If y'all want if y'all want to read the whole thread and you want to see the specifics and everything, it's all up on Twitter. But um we are going to move on. We are going to move on into the sunglasses drama. Timu recycling. Is that the clown looking guy? Yes. Gen X Renegade, it's it's like it looks like a 50 something year old man with, like, a skull bandana across his face. So, like, the skull bandana looks like that's his mouth. I Beats to me. Jordy's first YouTube drama? <laughs> this is not my first YouTube drama. <laughs> uh, wasn't my first, won't be my last. Oh, boy. Did you see that Eugenia was banned on Pinterest? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. It's like, is it Pinterest just posting photos of a house? Like I like arts and crafts ideas, houses, like like, oh, this is how I want to decorate my living room. I want to get ideas. Like that's what people use Pinterest for. <laughs> Eugenia got banned on Pinterest. <laughs> it's like, how? Like, wh what? How do you get banned on like a home planning sharing idea website? <laughs> it's like, did you hear that Eugenia got banned on Webkins? <laughs> did you see that Eugenia got a warning on Neopets? I mean, like, what's next? <laughs> no platform wants her at this point. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. Good Lord. Uh, another day on the internet, y'all. Another day on the internet. Okay, let me pull up the sunglasses pick. I keep saying I am, and then I don't. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Jeffree Star. Is this... Okay, this is for... I'd rather watch the version that isn't from that person's channel, if possible. But if it's the only version we have, there was something that one of you linked to me on Reddit. I'm trying to find that version of it. Oh, here it is. Here, wait, no, 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 that's not it. It was like TikTok, popcorn. Oh, did you did you guys delete that tweet? Did y'all delete that from little old me? Jeffrey Star is a jerk. Uh, uh, okay, so is this them fighting? Back to never talk shit about- Never talk about my dad like that ever again. Okay, here it is. We'll watch it. Never, ever talk about my dad. Never call my dad a hoe. Ever again, Jeffrey. And then the guy was like, my dad uh, passed away. But, like, I, I feel like that was kind of like a middle school thing. You know, like, if someone ever makes, like, a yo mama joke, like, your mom is so whatever. And then, like, the person would go, like, oh, well, my mom passed away, so now don't you feel like the asshole for making that joke. I don't know if this guy's dad actually passed away, but when he said that, it just took me back to seventh grade for a hot minute. So let's watch Jeffrey and this uh, guy get in a fight. Y'all ready? 
Actually, let me catch up a little bit on the Super Chats before I'm way behind. Um, Juniper, thank you so much. Let's effing go. See what Jeffrey got into this time. The fuck? You can like Super Chats now? What? That's kind of cool. Do you, guys, do you guys see the Super Chats pop up and there's like an option to give it a thumbs up? Oh, that's neat. That's new. Huh. Thank you so much, Juniper. Catherine V. Hello. This better be good. I was in the middle of catching up on RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm trying to think. Last week. Was last week even good? I, yeah, I, I like it so far. Okay. Well, thank you for choosing me. Nikki Jane 37 thank you so much for becoming a shorty. Glad to have you. Brooklyn Girl, really appreciate you becoming a shorty as well. Welcome to the team. Jordy's Pretzel M&Ms, thank you so much. Uh, TikTok Muzzfit, who Paul was talking about on the plane. Okay, Muzzfit is, is the military guy. Right, 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 right. Okay, thank you, Pretzel m &M. Uh Solviga, hey there. Glad that you are able to join us this evening. Hey, Jordy, let me ride it. You got it, Solviga. You got it. You can ride it, but don't play with it. Uh, Genix Renegade came after me too. He says he's mad at you on TikTok. I mean, oh, so Genix Renegade came for me on TikTok. So he came for me on Twitter, and then he moved platforms. He got in the back seat of Deb's SUV, moved platforms to TikTok, and then came for me on TikTok. <gasps> we might have to watch that. Thank you so much for letting me know, Solviga. Alyssa B. Hello. Heart hand back to you, Alyssa B. Glad that you could join us. Is your boyfriend with us this evening as well? Hope he's able to. Okay. Let's watch this, y'all. Tell Jeffrey, that little rat, to never talk shit about me and run away like he did last time. You understand, Jeffrey? I'm not a little weak hey, boy that you come up. and talk don't shit talk like that, too. Okay. Shut the fuck up, shut little boy. Them, you don't get to talk like that. Shut the fuck up. Tell Jeffrey, Jeffrey, if he wants to talk about me, talk to me to my face and never cut the match and yeah. run. Hey, Jeff, like cut your shit. Shut up. Cut your shit. I'm here. Fuck you. You're gonna Baby, you tell your dad to stop messaging me, little boy. Yeah, yeah, little get boy. out my mouth, Do little something. boy. We'll step on you. Do something Empty, about you're it, You're literally boy. glazing them so they gift you. What's wrong with you? He's been in my life so many times. And Jeffrey, don't he ever talk once. about my daddy. He passed away three months ago. I will slap you. Listen, I'll be really honest with you. Listen, 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 listen. You speak about my dad. Listen, I'll be really, really real with you. Your daddy's a hoe. My dad passed away three months ago. Why are you talking about him like that? He's still a hoe, and so are you. Now get out of here, you little bitch. You're disgusting. The way you talk to Barb's in the past, you are disgusting. You do not respect women. You are a pig. I don't respect women. You are a pig. And so is your mom. I froze one second. Look, I have water in my mouth and I froze. Wait, where'd properties go? Deactivate. Activate. <laughs> that was a lot quicker. Okay, so then that got taken down very abruptly. That got taken down, like, after that fight, TikTok yoinked the stream. <laughs> hey, whoa, 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 listen, 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 I only have one thing to say. Your dad's a hoe. <laughs> a 38-year-old. <laughs> Oh my god. Zay, you got one too? I didn't say Zay reported. They said Zay got one too. MP got one. I'm the only one that didn't get one. Okay, so Zay got one, MP got one, and Jeffrey all got one from that little altercation. I'm just trying to find a battle. Let's see what MP want to do. What's going on, TikTok? Why is your beautiful? Now, I have never seen this side character before. Um, I mean, obviously, we've seen Barb's, but uh, as far as this guy goes, the guy that was uh, simping out for Jeffrey, telling the guy in the sunglasses to STFU and all that, haven't seen him before, but he's Team Jeffrey, obviously. What's good? How you doing? You ready? 
Jeffrey's gone? He reset his live. Y'all both got a warning, so he just reset it. I don't know if he's coming right back on. He's probably gone. Now he's got disconnected. He didn't reset. Every time he's in the live and they keep reporting the page, huh? Are they banned? No, they're not banned. Um, but they got warnings. Now, I don't exactly know what that means, but it Jeffrey just came off of a seven day suspension. So if you're getting in arguments and, get, you know, getting in fights and then getting warned and your stream taken down or whatever, the original video lasts longer. Do you want me to link it? Yes, please. Earn blue. Thank you so much. Um, I, I, that doesn't seem good. Like you just came off of a seven day suspension. You got another warning. Rich just got demonetized. Eugenia got demonetized. I mean, Jeffrey, you're going to be twiddling your thumbs on that ranch. I mean, with nothing to do. Jeffrey played with it. Grown ass adults fighting on TikTok. Did you tweet it to me, Ern? Okay, thank you so much. Let me pull it up. Okay, apparently there's a longer version of this fight. We can watch. Of course we can watch. Wait, it came up on my phone, but not on my browser. What the hell? Oh, it's a TikTok. Wait, no, that's not it. No, I don't want to watch Tom Brady throw a football 20 years ago. Is it a, is it a TikTok video? Well, I'd imagine if they didn't want it on live stream, probably someone wasn't able to upload it as a video. Ern, did you tweet me and then delete it? Not long for the TikTok universe. Do you think that he'll uh, get taken down soon? It kind of seems like it's only a matter of time. Because, I mean, if he's getting on here and telling people, like, oh, look, your dad's a hoe, blah, 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 getting warnings. Doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good. Is this? Um, we had to get it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Sculpt. Oh, uh, this is him talking about makeup. I thought that this was him complaining about the ban. I got you. Cool kid club in school and out of school suspension. <laughs> Nikki Derringer, thank you so much for the super sticker. It's Reddit. Yeah, that's the link that I was originally trying to find. But when I went and looked in... When I went and looked in my um, tweets, it wasn't there anymore. But I remember the page it was on. It was like ticked. It was like... Uh, Should be able to find it. Although this was like two days ago now, so maybe it's like buried by a whole lot of other posts. Uh, poor Selena, thank you so much. Jordy, uh, I needed this live today. Lots of love from myself, Lewin and O'Malley. Lewin and O'Malley, glad that you could join us with poor Selena. Glad to have you three here. Thank you. Jordy's Tasteless Zebra Cake. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. I do. I, the, the zebra cakes are right here. They weren't very good. They just weren't very good. Hmm. I got dude in hotel room. What do you mean, Wolfgang? You got dude in hotel room. What's Jordy's Twitter? Oh, Lordy, it's Jord. So, like, no Y on the end of my name. 
Mega like spiders, thank you so much. Two videos and a live today? Let me ride it. Thank you for keeping me company during my week from hell. Of course, Meg like spiders, glad that you could join us. Hope your week is going better than your last. Of Muzz. Of them talking about Muzz. Wolfgang, I saw that you put up a video of like, did did uh did Je did Paul accidentally say too much? Let's watch that one, cause I didn't I didn't watch that one yet. Did Paul accidentally say too much? Ooh, I don't know. Did he? Quinn, a lot of people they, they have this liquor and they just don't know how to stop and they just yeah oof, they turn into Jekyll and Hyde and it's just not something I want to be around. No, that's definitely that I know about Chase. You don't like people that are, you know, don't have control. Yeah, people who can handle it. Like, I never drink, you guys. Jeffrey treated us to something really, really special. And, I, and so I was like, do you know what? Let me try it. I handled it. I mean, I, my body's really not made for it. Plus, I'm small. And I definitely had more than my fill. And I didn't get weird or crazy it's just not that hard to like keep your composure but still have a good time yeah but for some people it is that hard so <laughs> a lot of people <laughs> yeah are they talking about muzz here the military guy who is muzz muzz is this um really attractive straight military guy that they have in a lot of their lives and kind of what happened or what they alluded to happening was when they met up with him in person it didn't go so well i'm small you have the hotel footage of them with mudge thank you so much earn blue i the hotel footage of muzz I watched the live with Muzz in Miami. Jeffrey, Paul, and Barb's are saying one thing, and Muzz said something different. I mean, obviously, Jeffrey and Paul and Barb's are going to stick together. He's small, but those damn flappers aren't. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> no, Jordy, go to my videos. Also, three-part shorts. Okay, thank you. Let me uh, Let me move that back over. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeffrey done wrong by Muzz. Okay. Is this the one that we watched the other day? When did you upload these? I think that we watched these in the last stream, Wolfgang, when they talked about like sometimes you meet up with people and you just don't vibe with them. That's just the way it goes sometimes. This is moments where you meet people off the app. You, you battle them, you gift them, you have conversations. Yeah, we already watched this uh, in the one from two nights ago. But thank you. Did I freeze again? No. Okay, so let's go watch the screen recorded version of the fight that Earn sent. Okay, it's in a tweet. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's You're really real with you, your dad. Okay. I know I I don't know if this version is any different than the one we just watched. Allegedly it's different, longer, whatever. But I guess for those of you that missed it, we'll just do another once through. And Jeffrey, don't he ever talk once. about my daddy. He passed away three months ago. I will he slap him in your face. Up, Dave. Listen, I'll be, I'll be really honest with you. Listen, 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 listen. Speak about my dad. Listen, I'll be really, really real with you. Your daddy's a hoe. My dad passed away three months ago. Why are you talking about him like that? He's still a hoe, and so are you. Now get out of here, you little bitch. You're disgusting. The way you talk to Barb's in the past, you are disgusting. You do not respect women. You are a pig. I don't respect women. Are you, you are a pig? And so is your mama. Y'all just ruined everything. Why are you even here, Zaid? <laughs> My question is. 
why do they continue to go live with this guy if they don't like each other and all they do is get in a chat with each other and scream? Why don't they just block each other, you know? I, that's, I, I don't really get that. Rich Lux posted a video of the army guy an hour ago talking about what happened. I want to hear Muzz's take. Okay, one of you sent me Muzz's handle on TikTok. Let me pull up. His, did did Muzz post a response on his TikTok? Muzz underscore fit. Of course, it's Muzz underscore fit. Remember that one guy that... uh. Was it Jeffrey or Eugenia? It was Eugenia. Remember that one guy Eugenia battled and he was like that, the the god of ass. <laughs> no, no. G glute god. Glute, I'm the glute god. <laughs> I wonder what glute god's up to. Um, okay, it doesn't look like he's posted anything in regards to Jeffrey drama. Is Barb's a woman? Yes. Who talks about someone's dead father? You're going to catch these hands if you say that to me. Um. Well, I guess like in Jeffrey's defense, he probably didn't know that this guy's dad passed away. And that's kind of what I mean. Like, you know, like back in middle school when someone would make a Yo Mama joke, it's like, uh, yo, Yo Mama is so fat. She like has her own gravitational pull. And then the kid that that's said to goes, well, my mom died actually. And then everyone goes, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, I, 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 like, I don't think Jeffrey knows anything about this guy or knew that his mom, or sorry, dad passed away. But even if he did, let's say he did, Jeffrey is known for saying shocking things to get people's attention. He will hit you below the belt, really below the belt, um, where it hurts just to try to get a reaction out of you. That's kind of what we said like when he confronted Echo in that restaurant when they went to Live Fest in LA. Um, first thing he said, started walking up to him, started screaming the F-slur. Jeffrey doubled down and said, your mama and your daddy. He kept it up after he said he was dead, though. Yeah, that's a good point, Ava. I guess I meant, like, from uh, the original time when he said it. Muzz fit on YouTube. Let me ask this. Does anyone know if Muzz has a response to Jeffrey? Because one of you said that there's a whole lot of different takes. Like, Muzz is saying one thing, and they're all saying something else. Mismanaged Marissa, thank you so much for the super chat. Controversial question. If Nick Accato, sorry, I lost it. If, Nif, if Nick Accato Avocado posted his mukbang on TikTok, would he get the same treatment as EC's age restriction? Same thing, different coin. He plays it on his merch as it's just water weight. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of double standards and a lot of different ways of thinking about this. Um, you know, somehow, some like how uh, how some people on the internet view like Amber Lynn Reed and Foodie Beauty, for example, and it's met with a lot of, you know, like laughter and things like that. But, you know, when people first set their eyes on Eugenia, it's like sympathy. So I don't really know how these platforms are enforcing that, but... I guess, like, in terms of leniency, it seems like the other end of the spectrum, the Nikocado avocado end of the spectrum, gets more leniency. And they said fat privilege wasn't real. Ha! There you go. There you go. I do. Where do I send it? I don't have Twitter. Of the Muzz stuff? Well, Jordy's Pretzel m, m let me ask you this. Why don't you have Twitter? Uh, the difference is no one wants to look like Amber Lynn or Nick. So it's like that type of content. It's 
actively encouraging people not to look like that, whereas with Eugenia, it's a little bit different. But if someone said something about his friend who passed, everything would be set on fire. Barb is a weenie. Weenie Hut Jr. Weenie Hut General. Jeffree Star calling someone else Jekyll and Hyde. It's on Rich's YouTube. Okay. Thank you, whoever suggested that. Let's see if we can watch the Rich video. <sighs> Rich Lux. Looking like a million bucks. No keys. Sarosky Tux. No shit. No fuck. No chicken. No ducks. Jeffree Star kicked boyfriend out of room in Miami. What? <laughs> I sound like such a typical clickbait viewer. What? <laughs> um, boyfriend. Boyfriend. Okay. All right. For me, it was the lies, though. Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Boyfriend. So, do we think that these two had an intimate past? Jordy, do you have Instagram? I do. It's Insta Jordy. Rich got demonetized. Yes, Rich is uh, Rich looking like a million bucks. I was I was singing a song. There's a song called uh, "Stunning." Maybe it's maybe that's not it. And they're talking about like lux and bucks, and that's where that took my mind. You won't believe what happens next. I know. <laughs> boyfriend this is the first that i'm hearing that this is the first that i'm hearing that term be used in regards to muzz and jeffrey boyfriend um i watched muzz's tiktok live while jeffrey was doing his muzz said that he left the hotel room not because of a girlfriend but because of some disgusting things that were said and he felt really uncomfortable Mm. The lies. With all the lies. Welcome to Miami, Jeffrey, and literally walk straight on by me. Jeffrey Star just can't get. Jeffrey saw me on Miami and walked right past me. Oh no, Eugene. Okay, where's I? I don't care about Eugenia right now. Is this Muzz? No, this isn't Muzz. This is somebody different. Who's this? Was a fake YouTuber while in Miami. Apparently, the guy. Um. There's a lot to talk about today. <laughs> a little overwhelming, but in a good way. So many people have questions about the people I met, the people from TikTok that I battled, that I've met in person over the weekend. How are all the people that traveled from overseas in person? And I think, and I haven't really done this before, I think it's time to just have an open conversation about all the people I met, how they actually are off camera and in person. Had a lot of really great experiences this weekend, and I had a few really awful experiences with people um and i think it's important to share because you guys will not be seeing why why is it important to share well all of these personal occurrences that happened in miami i think it's important that i come to tiktok and talk all about it <laughs> why if, if you didn't vibe with someone like you said you didn't vibe with someone why then do you have to run to the <laughs> why do you have to run to the internet to talk about it? Why can't you just let it, you know, exist on its own? It's like you guys didn't vibe, you're not friends. That that's just it. Why can't it stop there? Free thinker. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for the super chat. I'm not missing today's live. Yay! Happy hump day. Happy hump day to you, free thinker. 
Hope your week is going well, despite the online nonsense. We love the online nonsense, though. Thanks so much, Freethinker. Bemo! Hi, Bemo! Hey, Jordy, can you please say the name, that, the way that you say Christina? Just Bemo? That's my dog's name. Oh, Bemo! Bemo! Come on, get over here, Bemo! Also, how are you today? What are we in for? Well, a whole lot of Jeffrey mess. Thanks for being here, Bemo. Emma Weenie! Hello, Emma Weenie. Thank you so much for the super sticker. Lapis Luzio. Hey there. Strapping in for feral trash panda trapped in a garbage bag, Jeffrey. <laughs> That's my favorite description of him lately. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jeffrey is a Miami alien. Oh my god. At the mall. <laughs> the, the aliens they saw at the mall. That's Jeffrey. Okay, so we're going to keep watching this Rich Lux video. I'm really only interested in watching the footage of it where it's like pe other people talking. Like if we get to a point where it's like Rich Lux commentating, I, I don't, I don't want to watch that. Um, I just want to watch the footage. So fortunately, it looks like a lot of this is just footage of Jeffrey talking. Jeffrey has no close friends, so he goes on TikTok. I'm glad I got Paul to block me. Good morning, Bridget. Hello, for the record, Your Honor. Can you say hi to my pooch, Lucy? Hi, Lucy! I love Lucy. And Nick has a weird history online with Stephanie Sue. Oh, I don't know anything about that. I just know that um, Nick Okado used to fight with her. His teeth are too white. Yeah, sometimes veneers don't look all that real. Jordy, I'm emailing you the footage of Muzz's response. Jordy's pretzel M&M. &M. You're emailing me what Muzz had to say about all this. Because we'll watch that after this. My dog sends you all the kisses. Thank you, Mickey. Dana BW, thank you so much for the super sticker. Appreciate that. Nanina, love you. Appreciate that as well. The fuck? Jeffrey in a fight? How original. <laughs> Who would have thought that Jeffrey's arguing with people in 2024? I, I thought they gave that up. Here he is again. More arguments. Thanks, Nanny. Did Rich get demonetized due to promoting Eugenia? I don't know why he got demonetized. Um, I don't know if he has shared the reason why he got demonetized on TikTok yet, but if Eugenia is getting demonetized, Rich is getting demonetized, Jeffrey's getting flagged and warned and suspended all the time, it's kind of leading me to believe that Jeffrey might be demonetized soon too. So, I don't know. This may become a Barb's and Paul reaction channel. <laughs> if everybody else leaves TikTok, or maybe we'll find someone new altogether. Who knows? What did he do now? Um, he got in a fight with some guy in sunglasses and said his dad's a hoe, and then he got his stream taken down. And then, on top of that, he spilled a bunch of tea on some military guy that didn't love him back. That's kind of the gist. Hope y'all are having a good night. Thank you, Jordy's Frozen Webcam. Anita Marie, appreciate that. Barb's is really growing on me. She does not have time to play with it or ride it. Well, Barb's does have time. <laughs> she definitely has a lot of time. <laughs> but really, I just, I really think that they should just let her chill on the couch. No more screaming, no more arguing, no more yelling. Just give Barb's money and let her sit on the couch. That's all she wants, y'all. That's all she wants. Oh my gosh. Seeing a few people on the screen with me ever again, you guys are not going to see me promoting or putting a few people on my screen in battles ever again. And, there, and you know, sadly, people like tea and drama. This isn't that. This is just a human experience. I'm just one little person. And I meet people off this app, off the screen. A lot of people are really great at talking on camera and you meet them in person and you figure out who they really are, right? 
So I think that's the issue is if we would all just stay behind the screens and battle on TikTok and never meet, we probably wouldn't know all these things. But once you let people into your space, into your energy, um, you quickly realize, A, are they a good person? B, are they a piece that, C, are they fraudulent and, and not who they say they are on screen? And that's a lot of them. Oof. The things people will say and do and pretend for a little money on here is disheartening, disgusting, and sad. Um, but there's also a lot of great- <sighs> What I'm gathering here is Jeffrey went up to Muzz, said, hey Muzz, let me write it. And Muzz said, Jeffrey, don't play with it. And then that was a huge turnoff for Jeffrey. So he had Muzz GTFO the apartment, or sorry, the hotel room. And uh, this is where all this energy is coming from right now. Jeffrey's just an innocent bystander. I know, I know, like that Keanu Reeves guy. Just a bunch of innocent bystanders. You know, it, it's just always funny to me with people that are always constantly the focal point of drama and controversy and uh, negativity and toxicity, how they are always the ones that are, you know, trying to say that they're not the cause of it. They, that it, it, you know, they don't go looking for trouble. Trouble finds them. <laughs> Uh, my my sixth grade teacher actually said that to me. Um, I, w I was always getting in trouble. You know, like I was, I was like a little shithead. And she called me to the other room one time and she said, you know what? Like a lot of the problems in our classroom, Jordy, um, it seems like whenever there's a problem in our room or, you know, someone's feelings get hurt or, um, you know, someone's upset or there, there's any type of like drama, it seems like your name always gets brought up. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what I said back to that, but I was probably just like, it's probably just a coincidence. I don't know, but I would get, I would get in trouble for the dumbest stuff. Like I, like we were all in the bleachers one time. And this girl named Kendra farted. And I turned around and looked at her and I was like, oh my God, Kendra farted. Or I was like, you farted? And like her friend next to her, Cheyenne, laughed. So then they told, and like they all, they thought it was funny when it happened. But then they went and told on me later. They're like, Jordy made fun of us in the bleachers. It's like, we were all laughing about it. Like you didn't seem like that bothered you in the moment. So then it called me. I'm an innocent bystander too. I know. I know. So me, Jeffrey, and um, the Keanu Reeves guy, we're all innocent bystanders. <clears throat> My teacher called me mouth. Kendra, you're embarrassing. Not to be morbid, but Kendra did pass away. I want to say she passed away like five years ago. Jordy was the one that farted. Jordy didn't know how to keep quiet. I think I more so just got bored, you know? Like, I, I did. I got bored. Because, I mean, like, what do you even do in sixth grade? Like, improper fractions and colored pencils? Like, that that's boring. It's like, no, let's, let's spice this up. Kendra farted. <laughs> oh, my. Genesee, thank you so much. I got a job recently and I'm happy to finally send you a super chat. Yay for not being broke. Yay for not being broke, Genesee. That's awesome. Congratulations on your new job. I hope it's a good fit for you. Really appreciate that. That's very generous. Jordy noticed me. Oh, wait, who was that? ISCN88, you have been noticed. Is that like the notice me senpai thing? Jordy shoved me in a locker. No, I was never involved with anything like physical. I was never involved in like a physical altercation. But I'll tell you this, like I got I got in trouble in like sixth grade and then I, I got like in, in some trouble in middle school. 
not really trouble. Like I wasn't suspended or anything like that, but just like little, little like dumb shit like that. But I never once, not once, went to the student affairs office or the principal's office in high school. Never. Not, not once did I. Nanny, no, love you. Appreciate that. Jeffrey is literally a five-year-old. The fuck? Such a wuss. I have to laugh because she's such a simp. <laughs> oh, he seems to find drama wherever he goes. Or no, no, no. It finds him. It finds him. Jordy doxed my grandma. Remember when they all accused me of doxing their friend? They were like, he doxed Dominic. Like, what was that about? <laughs> did, did we ever get clarification on that? The, 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 the kid that Eugenia would always battle, the one that would wear the blue sweatshirt, they, they accused me of doxing him. I, I was like, who? I, I did When you guys were, when someone first brought that to my attention, I didn't even know who you were talking about because he wasn't a very reoccurring side character on the program. So when they said his name, it didn't really even register with me. I, like, I, I don't know what that was about. Jordy took my lunch money and gave me a chapstick in return. <laughs> You'd be fun with true crime reactions. I've done a couple. Jordy, now your old classmates are going to come for you. I'm trying to think if I'm even in contact with anyone from that class. I don't think so. I mean, a lot of them, a lot of them are like married or they've moved away by now. You always skip the battles with Dominic. Yeah, I, 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 cause I, I remember I said he's boring when he would talk with Eugenia. I always went past them because he was boring. Oh my god, sorry, reflux. Sorry if that, that's like ASMR burping, I apologize. Jordy burped! Jordy burped! <laughs> Whole sixth grade class, point and laugh. Cheyenne Taylor, thank you so much. Starting my embalming tonight. I love your company. Um, Embalming like a body? What does that mean? When I think of embalming, I think of like a, a corpse or, or like a mummy. What is it? Does that have a term that has a meaning I don't know of? Um, but regardless, I hope it goes well. I'm loving that Dustin's name is now Keanu Reeves guy. Oh, is that his name? Dustin. Okay. Most of my classmates are either in jail or dead. Oh my. Embalming. I'm a mortician. Oh, okay. Cheyenne's a mortician. Okay. <laughs> so you're watching this live stream while working with a cadaver. Is, is that what I'm... Interesting. Interesting. Huh. Well, thank you so much, Cheyenne. I hope it goes well. Most of my graduating class has been in jail at least once. Great memories. Miami was sickening. So let's start there. Overall, how was Miami? Oh, baby, it was epic. Overall, I had the best time. Me, me traveling, I've, I've been traveling for a very long time, right? A lot of people only know me from TikTok in this little moment. I've been online for a very long time. I've traveled to over 200 countries. Oh, not this again. Oh my God. I've been all over the world. I've, I've toured at Warp Tour twice. I've done all this shit. Like, oh, uh, uh, not this again. 200? I thought the last time that he said this, it was 150. So has Jeffrey been to 50 additional countries in the time that he said this last? <laughs> I've been to 200 countries. I've applied lip gloss in places on the world that you've never even heard of. 
Miami was sickening. Sir brags a lot. It's just weird. It went up 50 countries. I thought that he said 152. One fi- yeah, yeah, yeah. When he when he flexed this last time, he said, I've been to 150 countries. And now when he's saying it here, it's 200. As far as I know, Miami and Los Angeles don't make up 50 more countries. So I, I don't know who's working or double checking the math department at the Yak Ranch, but they need to be fired. They need their ass handed to them. And a lip gloss. He meant county. Yeah, I've been to 200 counties. <laughs> there aren't even 200 countries on Earth. Is that true? Is that true? How many countries on Earth? There aren't even 200 countries on Earth. It says 195. <laughs> <laughs> there are 195 countries in the world and he said he's been to 200 wait we have to listen to that again oh good lord i've been to 200 countries <laughs> oh baby it was epic overall i had the best time me me traveling i've, I've been traveling for a very long time Right, a lot of people only know me from TikTok in this little moment. I've been online for a very long time. I've traveled to over 200 countries. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Um, I don't know what planet Jeffrey lives on, but he really should come back down to Earth. Because when he comes back down to Earth, he'll know that there are not 200 countries. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, did he open up a uh, Jeffrey Star Cosmetics franchise in Antarctica that we don't know about? 2 I've been over to 200 countries. I have pirates in Somalia wearing my lip gloss. Jeffrey talking out of his ass. Show the passport. Jeffrey's like, I have been to 200 countries with this little baby. Mm. He's on Jupiter. <laughs> that could be a merch moment. <laughs> Quote, I've been to over 200 countries. <laughs> the, okay, so the moon is fake. The moon's not real. Goldfish are evil. Um, what else has he said recently? Been to 200 countries. <laughs> he broke bread with Santa at the North Pole. Baby, I took a little... I, lo I took some of those elves home with me. They're in the warehouse working. Maybe he's an alien. I've been to Miami about... 25 times i love florida i love the vibe there i was in miami for the super these really are new money flexes Th these are i've been to miami like 25 times in my life before okay super bowl in 2019 um, having fun with someone who we can't name. Baby, I've been around the block. Oh my God. Oh my God. I went to the Super Bowl in 2019 because I was sleeping with one of the players. Ugh. Can't name them, you know, but you know, Muzz from TikTok or whoever else we run into and have personal drama with that, with us in the hotel room. All of that laundry gets aired. Miami is obviously a country. I, like, 
do you guys think that like he was just being stupid or do you think he was trolling? Because normally I would gravitate toward he's trolling, but I genuinely think at that moment he was just talking out his ass being stupid. Miami is a slum. When I went to Miami last, I just remember the beaches being very dirty. Like there was a lot of like seaweed and trash on the beach. That's all that I remember from Miami. He can't name the players and rappers because there aren't any. Oh, well, apparently his DMs are flooded with NBA and NFL players. Um, Jennifer Baird, thank you so much for the super chat. Catching her live has really cheered me up after a stressful evening. My car broke down and was a real nightmare to get fixed. Thanks, George. Oh my God, I'm so sorry to hear that, Jennifer Baird. Hope everything can get repaired quickly. Hope the rest of your week goes okay. Jordy's Tasteless Zebra Cake, thank you so much for the super chat. Did you see Mr. Snowflake's live today? A must see. Um, if he went, if he did a live stream today, no, I have not seen it, but I did see, um, his recent uploads in regards to the whole foodie beauty stuff that has caused a whole shit storm in foodie beauty world. Radar really appreciate that. Today is my mom's birthday. She loves the way you laugh. Can you say happy birthday to Connie, please? We love your videos. Connie, oh my God, happy birthday to you. Glad that you could join your birthday here on stream with us. That's amazing. Hope you're having another lovely year. Happy birthday to you, Connie. Jordy's Endless Slushy. Thank you so much. I don't have you here again tonight. <sighs> we just have you in digital form. Bestie, consent to ride it. No slushy tonight. No slushy tonight. Consent to ride it. <sighs> Approved. <laughs> Don't play with it, though. Eugenia was live yesterday? No. Lock, I have experienced so many things. Now, it's okay that some people are newer, they've just joined TikTok recently, they've just made a little bit of money, they're feeling themselves, that's all good. Girl, the people that I met in LA, I didn't really have that many bad experiences in LA. Obviously, someone that battles tried to um, get confrontational and get attention off of me, some irrelevant nobody. Um, Wait a second. Wait a second. Echo on the other side of the room. I mean, he was pretty far away from Jeffrey at that point. I, I I don't know. I mean, let's think about this for a second. Echo on the other side of the room, pointing his phone at Jeffrey and saying, hey, look, everybody, there's the recyclers. Would you guys classify that as being confrontational? Or would you classify Jeffrey running up to that person screaming maggot with a capital F confrontational. Because I, I would much so consider Jeffrey screaming maggot with a capital F in his face <laughs> than someone holding a phone at you from across the room and saying, hey, look, psych at recyclers. <laughs> but again, the victim, you know what I mean? The victim. He said that to me. He got confrontational with me. He started it. <laughs> oh my gosh mad pac-man thank you so much for your membership renewal really appreciate that jordy we watched the muzz stuff on twitch not youtube yes oh wait a second the muzz stuff <gasps> oh so we didn't watch all of the um the videos on Wolfgang's channel on here. Okay. All right. So maybe we can go back and watch it again. Thank you. For, oh, okay. All right. I'm getting my platforms mixed up now, y'all. I don't know. By the way, if you haven't heard, I have started to stream on Twitch lately. I have. We had a fun night on there. What was it? Uh, Monday night. We did. We played some games. We talked. It was a very intimate audience. There were only like 50 of us. We have a lot of fun on Twitch. We do. We do. Go ahead and find me on there. Username is Oh Lordy, it's Jordy TV. 
That's the one plug I'll do tonight. Thanks so much, Mad Pac-Man. All right, so we might go ahead and watch that again on here then, if it doesn't get covered in what we're watching right now. Jeffrey is the victim, duh. Always, always. When you travel to 200 countries, you learn how to be confrontational. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. How long have you been live? An hour and 10 minutes. Rice noodles, thank you so much. This is, that is how you know they like each other. Wink. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. Boops Bucket, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Important reminder, all of us here have got it more together than a mean, hissy fit, multi-millionaire, middle-aged preschooler. We're all killing it. I know that there are a lot of people that come to the drama and, like, the craziness of YouTube to remind themselves, well, you know, life kind of sucks. Like, Jennifer Baird's car broke down and, you know, this happened and, you know, th my boss was rude to me today. But, you know... At least we're not 38 throwing hissy fits with other adults on TikTok. It's, it's just, got, you know, like, at least we have that, you know? <laughs> Thanks so much, Boops Bucket. Uh, he confronted so many countries, they're gone. <laughs> Je Jeffrey's the reason for Brexit. That attacked me in the van. I said some crazy stuff. La, 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 la. What? Attacked him. Attacked him. <laughs> Jeffrey, you ran up to him and screamed a bunch of slurs in his face, but he attacked you. <laughs> like, tell the retelling of this story in such a delusional way while applying lip gloss. Like, mood. Mood. The bar is on the floor. Oh, baby. The bar is in the inner crust of the earth. <laughs> Whatever. I didn't feel safe at that in LA at all. Um, meaning like... I he didn't feel safe. Oh, my gosh. He can't say more than five words without me, like, doing this, like, high eyebrow thing. I, I mean, really, he didn't feel safe. Jeffrey ran up to him and started screaming slurs, but Jeffrey didn't feel safe? <laughs> oh, my God. Mallory, thank you so much. Jeffrey needs to Jefferson needs to be sent out to out to his side of the blue bin for a timeout. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what night is trash night for you all, but oh my. The blue bin for Jeffrey. Mm, I think you're on to something, Mallory. Uh, Jordy, do you play Nintendo Switch PC or PS5? I don't have a Switch, but if I had a Switch, I would play it. Um I like Mario stuff, but as far as, like, gaming goes, I just play Hearthstone and World of Warcraft. And Town of Salem. Sometimes. Mismanaged Marissa, thank you so much. When do you think Eugenia will go back live, if ever? Did you see that Jeffrey got... That she got a Jeffrey Care package on Instagram? Also, that apology was a part of her appeal, in my opinion. Yes. I, um, I did see something about that, like maybe th that was all planned. That was all a little bit timed. It was like, well, we uh, we should come back on TikTok. We should do the whole like, I'm sorry, you know, here's where I've been, blah, blah, blah. And then the day after, it's like, guys, look at all this new Jeffrey shit I got. Look at my new PR package. The timing is very suspicious. I do agree with that. Um, as far as her going back live, I think unless her account ever gets re-monetized, she will never do that. So, who knows? Who knows? But, I mean, if they just demonetized Rich, I mean, it doesn't really seem like their click or people that are associated with Eugenia doesn't really seem like they're coming back anytime soon. Christy, thank you so much. Oh, Lord, what did Jeffrey do now? Thanks for being my dinner show. Um, yelled at a guy with sunglasses. Claimed that he visited over 200 countries, even though there's only 195 on Earth. Um, 
And he's telling a very interesting story about a fight in Los Angeles that we all watched on here that played out a very different way. What is Jordy's Twitch username? Oh, Lordy, it's Jordy TV. Rich was demonetized. Yes. Jordy's Tasteless Zebra Cake. Thank you so much. Who's taking the username Kendra Farted? <laughs> I remember that. That was just so stupid. We were in the bleachers. She farted. She did. I turned around and I said, oh my God, Kendra farted. Kendra and Cheyenne laughed at that. Like, we were all laughing at it. Like the fact, like, It wasn't like one of those things where I was like Nelson from The Simpsons going like, ha ha. And like the whole group of kids started laughing at Kendra. It was like... Us three, we were all laughing about it. And then after that, they went and told on me. I, I, I was then like, what, what, whatever, whatever. 15 year old drama. That, that was 2009. That was actually 2009. So when Jeffrey was recording Lollipop Luxury with Nicki Minaj, I was getting accused of being a troublemaker in sixth grade. Just so y'all know. I thought the event should have more security, la 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 la, whatever. Hold on. Yes. It's, a, it's the recyclers. It's the recyclers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. We're so past LA. LA was great. It was awesome. Bitch, I look sickening. I don't know if it was LA. Oh, it was Miami. It was. So, okay. So, the whole. Re now. Somebody clock me if I'm getting this wrong, but I don't think I'm getting this wrong. Um, in Miami, you know how they went last weekend? And like the whole reason that they went to Miami in the first place was to go to the TikTok event. Remember? It was like the the Los Angeles thing was two weeks ago. And then they were like, oh, well, you know, TikTok's doing their next event in Miami two weeks later. So they went to Miami, but they didn't end up going to the TikTok event. They just hung out in the hotel room. They went to all the gay clubs and bars, and then they got that yacht. They didn't even go to the TikTok event because apparently Jeffrey got there and demanded or, you know, said, like, he should be getting more security. He should get, you know, people to follow him around or make sure nothing goes wrong. And they were just kind of like, well, we're not providing that for you. So, no. Um, the security that we have here at this event is what we have. You're not getting special treatment, Jeffrey Star. So I think that Jeffrey Star was kind of like <laughs> Jeffrey Star. I think that Jeffrey was kind of like, oh well, I'm just not gonna go. I'm just not gonna go. It's like, why would you expect a TikTok event like this to provide you personal security? He was uninvited. He was uninvited because of the drama at the last one. So because of this fight with Echo, they uninvited him to the Miami one. That's the first I'm hearing that, though. Hmm. I think TikTok is trying to change. Have you seen the TV ads for TikTok? No. What do you mean by that? T TV ads. That was on a stream before Eugenia getting the collection for Valentine's Day. Is I thought the thing that I is that that lime green thing that he has. He wanted personal security so he can run his mouth more. <laughs> I know he wants uh, he wants more personal security so that he can point across the room and scream at people, and then when they have something to say, he can have people like hold Jeffrey back so that he can look more tough. I want you to pay for my security. TikTok couldn't even provide real chairs. I know, at the event in LA, weren't they all sitting on stools? It it didn't really look like a whole nice done up event. So, uh, I, I mean, for the budget that they had, I don't think that that included getting personal security for Jeffrey. When they refused him security, he boycotted. It's like, oh, well, you know, we'll go to Miami anyway. We don't need TikTok. We'll go to Twist. We'll go to, you know, get a yacht. 
and it was like the four of them on it. That yacht footage was so weird. So weird. I, I mean, it was him, Kemi, Paul, and Barb's on a yacht. Just the four of them playing music on their phone, dancing, and taking selfies. Um, I thought Jeffrey was disqualified from going to Miami when he got his weak ban. Well, the weak ban was f the weak ban occurred before Los Angeles, and he got to go to the Los Angeles one. So I don't think that that's true. Kemi is wild. It was giving middle school play. Meanwhile, he's on TikTok the entire time. Was Barb's just staring off into space with her mouth open? I actually don't even remember Barb's being on the yacht. Like, I, I, I remember... I just remember Jeffrey and Kemi, like, literally frolicking around the yacht, taking pictures of each other, playing music off of their phone. I, I mean, Paul and Barb's were on the yacht, but... I don't remember them like being a part of like the, the action. Julia Gale. Thank you so much for that. Oh, got here late, but was welcomed instantly with hot tea. Sending love to you in the community. PS your Kendra farted story made my night. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Julia. Glad it made you laugh. Boops bucket again. Hello, boops bucket. I came across a striking comment on Eugenia's apology. TikTok video. If they are your real friends you have on TikTok, they can reach out to you in many other ways. If they don't, they're not friends. You know who your real friends are when things aren't going so well for you in life. That's what a real friend is. A real friend with you is, I used to have this little mug and it was these two cats on it. And there was this little, they were, they were rolling dough to make pizza. And on the bottom of the mug, it said, real friends are there for you through thick or thin. And it was like them rolling pizza dough. You know who's a fair weather friend when shit gets rough. Mm-hmm. Don't play with it, boops bucket. Thank you so much for that. Mifo! Hi, Mifo. Appreciate that. Jeffrey said that he had a different lover with him in Miami and he wasn't interested in Muzz, but he didn't like that Muzz lied about being single. Oh, that's T. That's T. So Jeffrey had a man with him there, but then when they met Muzz in person, I guess Muzz was putting on the persona on. Well, here's the thing. Let's talk about that for a second. Here's the, here's the thing about that. What would Muzz have to gain from letting his audience think that he's single? Think about, let's think about this for a second. Very attractive, straight, man in uniform. That's how he makes a lot of his money. If he came on here on TikTok and showed a lot of content with his girlfriend or, you know, showed how in love he was with his girlfriend or... um you know, made it aware to his audience that he wasn't single. A lot of people would find that as a turnoff. They would think, oh, well, now I don't have a shot with this guy. It's like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to see content of this guy with his girlfriend. I want to see him, you know, talk about like how he's trying to find true love. I want to see him take his shirt off with no girlfriend in the picture. So it's advantageous for someone like Muzz to let his audience think that he's single because it's like, it's like, Oh, you know, maybe I have a chance with him. I feel like that's how some people think. So, I mean, I feel like Jeffrey, you know, like being the businessman that he is, he would understand that. He doesn't like that. Muzz lied about being single. Well, he's probably mad about that because he probably wanted to write it. Bumblebee. Hey, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too, Bumblebee. Buzz, buzz. Thank you for joining the hive. Hi, MTG Kitty. Um, Julia Gale, thank you so much again. You just said Kendra passed away right after I said that the fart story made my night. I feel like such an ass now. Great. I still love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know it's like it's like Jeffrey making uh, the your daddy's a hoe joke, and then you know immediately gets tampered by. Uh, well, my dad is dead. You can't win. You can't win. Humor and comedy is a very fine line to walk, Julia. It is. It is. Don't play with it. Don't play with comedy. Mm -mm. Yes, and Muzz knows that he gets free stuff. That's the thing, Happy Days. That's kind of what I mean. It's like, well, if he's getting if he's getting showered in gifts by people that in their mind have a delusion of like, oh, I'm going to have a chance with him one day, he would lose the incentive or, I mean, people, you know, people would lose the incentive of wanting to give him money because it's like, oh, well, if you're already tied down, if you're already seeing someone, why am I? People are a lot more likely to shower someone in money that is single than someone who is um, in a relationship. Bodo Change, thank you so much for gifting five people in the chat a membership. That's very generous of you. Appreciate that, Bodo. It was epic. Weeks later, TikTok's like, we're doing a Miami event. This is the global live fest. People from all over the world are flying in. It was, it was great. I was like, wow. People from Australia that I've battled, people from South Korea, people from Germany, people from the UK. I mean, there's so many creators um, that flew in. And there wasn't even that many um, US creators that were even invited. So I was like, damn, you know, I got to go represent me and Jay face and the crew and, and everyone. Right. Um, so let's talk about Miami. <laughs> <coughs> My voice is just coming back and I have been a little sick. So baby, she got hardly any sleep. Oh, he lost his voice. He lost his voice for screaming at Muzz for being in a relationship. What do you mean you have a girlfriend? I've given you tens of thousands of dollars and you won't sleep with me. <laughs> and we're just slowly recovering, okay? Mm-hmm. So. Wait, was that a lion? You know how we're always talking about lions? It's like, oh, thank you so much for the lion. Like that, that cat with the mane around its neck. Was that a lion? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... <laughs> Thank you, Kango. Thank you, baby. Now, when you meet people off this app, not everyone is going to vibe. That's okay. And I think people turn that into drama. Oh! Straight from the lion into ripped pantyhose gifting a galaxy. Don't play with it. Or something. But at the end of the day, human beings, we're not all going to get along. You bring everyone from all different walks of life, all different everything. Not everyone's going to be friends. And I think that that's okay. I don't know why people create something else. Um, but human beings are just human beings. Christine, we know that. Thank you. All the people coming off from the For You page. Hi, how are you? But, um... <laughs> Oh, how far we've come. Remember the Jeffree Star five years ago on YouTube? Hey, hi, how are ya? It's me, Jeffree Star of Jeffree Star Cosmetics 2024. Um, all you shitheads finding your way here from the For You page. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, how far we've come. Bebo Klein, thank you so much again. Jordy made me have uh, glass bones and paper skin. Every morning, Bemo Klein breaks their legs, and every afternoon, they break their arms. At night, Bemo Klein lies awake in agony until their heart stops and puts them to sleep. Why, Jordy? Hashtag play with it. Oh, we love a SpongeBob reference. We do, Bemo. <laughs> thank you so much for that. Muzz is saying one thing and Jeffrey's saying another. Okay. Um, I did see your message. Jordy's pretzel M&Ms. We will watch that after this. Of So we're going to listen. We're going to listen to everything that Jeffrey has to say about what happened with Muzz. And then we're going to watch Mu what Muzz had to say. Because we, ha we got the footage. We got it. Christy, thank you so much for becoming a shorty. Glad to have you here. Really appreciate your membership, Christy. 
Nanina, love you. Appreciate that as well. Jordy, I spit out my wine. Your conversation between Jeffrey and Muzz is 100% accurate AF. Loving it. Texas heart hands. <laughs> or maybe you meant to say thanks. No, it's, it's, it's probably thanks, not Texas. I mean, you put capital TX, so when I see that acronym, I think Texas. <laughs> but I think you meant to say thanks. I think that you meant thanks, so thanks, TX. Heart hands back to you, Nani. <laughs> uh, Beth McBlaze, thank you so much for renewing your membership. I live for all of the random side character nicknames. Love you, Jord and Shorts. Oh, that's sweet of you, Beth. Welcome back. Thank you for renewing your membership. It's a long video. Yes, pantyhose. We're going to listen to Jeffrey lie. <laughs> that part, you guys. But I met a lot of really amazing people. But I think that people forget human beings are not always gonna get along, right? And when you put in a bunch of personalities, shit may not always be great. And also, if you battle and you talk to someone online for months, when you meet them in person, the vibe may be really amazing, right? You may really bond with people like Paul, Crystal, Barb's, Queen, like people that I let into my home, I let into my life, um, that I've actually bonded with, you may see over and over again. And it may be one month, it may be two months, they may. Whatever it is, I have made. Hey, listen, guys. In life, sometimes you're going to meet people that are very submissive, will succumb to everything that you say. They will be willing to kiss your ass. And then in other scenarios, you'll meet people that aren't willing to kiss your ass. So, um, you know, it's all about who you want to keep close. You know, sometimes you meet a, you meet a Paul, you meet a Christina, you meet a Barb's, you know, lips are ready for the butt cheeks. But sometimes when you meet Muzz, for example, and they're not willing to, they got to get the chop. That's just how life is. <laughs> he dominates people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Momoy super chat. Oh, I am a little bit behind. So if I did miss a super chat, I do apologize. But I've seen like five people say that now. So let me scroll down. Uh, Momoy. Oh my God. That is super generous of you. Thank you so much. You're the best background sound. Thank you so much. Oh my God. That's very sweet of you, Momoy. Oh my gosh. Super generous of you. Can't thank you enough. And then you came in again. Oh, holy cow. We need a Jeffrey cosplay. <laughs> All right, Momoy. Let me show you something. I, I really appreciate you being so generous. And because you requested the Jeffrey cosplay, let me show y'all something. Hold on. Don't, don't play with it. Don't play with it. But let me show y'all something. So after the last live stream that I did, you know, when Jordy Star came in and we did the whole like paintbrush and, uh, you know, we did our own Jordy palette and everything like that um, because it was so well received. I am getting ready to do a 2008 version of Jeffree Star cosplay. So we have the goods. We do. We have the goods here. Um, we got a short little blonde wig. We have a pink jumpsuit to wear. So, uh, for you, Momoy, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, the pink jumpsuit. Oh my gosh. For a hot second, I'm, I'm just saying this for a hot, I didn't go through with it, obviously, but for a hot second, I did consider buying like a, a Jeffree Star cosmetics outfit to complete. I, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to support the business. <laughs> so I just got a, I just got like a pink jumpsuit off of Amazon. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Moonlight. That is very generous of you. 
Uh, Moon Rabbit ASMR. Hey there. Thank you. Over 200 countries, he says. His ass has not been to Somalia. <laughs> Somalia. What are some other hard to get to countries? Antarctica's hard to get to. What are, come, come on. What, tell me in the chat, like, what are some hard to get to countries that we could, like, put Jeffrey in the hot seat for? So, uh, Jeffrey, on uh, January, sorry, February 6th, you said that you had been to, quote, 200 countries. Have you been to uh, the Democratic Republic of the Congo? Have you been to uh, Somalia? <laughs> Have you been to North Korea? Yeah, North Korea. <laughs> Papua New Guinea. Afghanistan. Is Af I'm going to sound ignorant right here asking this, but is Afghanistan still controlled by ISIS? Because remember that whole thing went on like a year or two ago? It was like, um, like we had the war there for 20 years and then we left a lot of artillery there and like copters and guns and ammunition. And then ISIS took over Afghanistan and now they have a lot of access to our old weapons that we left there from the early 2000s. Is that like still the vibe in Afghanistan? Sentinel Island. Oh my God, Janelle. Yeah, Jeffrey, have you been to Sentinel Island? <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey's going to open up a franchise on Sentinel Island. The Taliban. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you couldn't go to Afghanistan. So, like, hardest places to get to would probably be North Korea, Afghanistan... I, like, the only reason you would be able to go to Afghanistan, I guess, is if you were, like, a part of the Taliban, right? Angola? That's in northern Africa, right? North Sentinel Island. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeffrey going up to all these people that have had no human contact ever. And the first other interaction they have with someone from the civilized world is Eugenia hand, or sorry, not Eugenia, <laughs> Jeffrey giving them a yak plushie. <laughs> oh my gosh. Epstein Island. <gasps> Whoa. He's talked about that before. Actually not Jeffrey hasn't been to it, but he's talked about it on here before. He says that he has had friends that have gone there on business lunches, whatever that means. I mean, I don't know what was being served for lunch that day, but apparently Jeffrey has known people that have gone there for business lunches. So I guess in Jeffrey's mind, if he has a friend that's been somewhere, he's also been there too. So he can flex, he can flex that. Lithuania, Yemen. Oh my gosh, I just saw Bumblebee. Holy cow. Thank you so much for that, Jordy. This is a donation for a Switch to stream Animal Crossing on Twitch, please. Oh my god, Bumblebee. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is seriously such a generous donation, Bumblebee. Oh my. Oh my. Animal Crossing. That's with like the little like raccoon looking person, right? Where you like build your farm. I've heard good things about Animal Crossing. I have. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for that, Bumblebee. Seriously. If he flew over it, he visited it. <laughs> oh, my. Real friends off this app. It's been beautiful. Do I have real friends before TikTok? Obviously, I'm a human being and I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> oh my God. Um, you know what I mean? But. Whoa, I've never seen this gift before. Ripped pantyhose, thank you so much for the yacht. Whoa, look at this. Is Kemi on this? 
All aboard! And that right there is a real one. And even though me and Emery did not get to spend time together in Miami, because life was very hectic and everyone was all doing their own thing, me and Emery met in LA. Even though we had seen each other on live before, we talked, whatever, you never know how someone's gonna be off the app. Emery, thank you for that yacht, by the way. Emery, we all got to meet in LA. He was a real one. And I'm someone that judges someone quickly. When I meet you, I can feel your vibe and your energy. I can feel your aura. Let's go, Rick! When I met Emery, I was like, that's a real one. You can tell in someone's spirit and in their soul how real they are, right? Got it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. In Miami, we met a lot more people off the app. Some of them were amazing. Some of them were not. And by the way, when these little things pop up at the bottom of the screen, like the yacht, the falcon, the lion, like these are like the, the, the these are like the, the super chats that like Bumblebee and Momoy are sending in. So where he's just like, all aboard. Like, <laughs> I like seeing the gifts. I kind of do too. I kind of do too. I judge people very quickly. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> you can tell it in their soul. When I met Jeff, or when I met Paul, when I met Barb's, when I met Christina for the first time, and I could tell that they wanted to kiss my ass, I immediately got good vibes from them. But when I met a straight guy and he found out that he, and I find out that he has a girlfriend, darkness, darkness clouded his chakras. Uh uh. Okay. Yachts are not expensive to rent. I went on a yacht. I, I don't even know if you would call it a yacht, honestly. Yeah, 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 it was a yacht. Um, back in, I went into to a yacht in Seattle with my one girlfriend and some of her co-workers and then some of the people that her co-workers knew. There was like 20-something of us. And I want to say it was like between, for an evening, like if we went out at like 6 and we got back at 10, I want to say it was like 1500 So like we all split that. And I remember at the end of it, the people, like the, the yacht owner, the one who drive, drove us around all night, drived, uh, got pissed because we didn't tip. And like that was just something that didn't cross anyone in the group's minds it's like you know we gave you like 1500 or two grand i don't remember how much it was to come on this yacht and like he wanted he was like surprised that we didn't tip on it afterwards uh i i, I don't know I, I don't know but there I, I just remember after that whole yacht thing happened this last summer there was drama about the fact that the group i was with we didn't tip Erica Rowe, thank you so much for the super chat. Jeffrey's so cool, he discovered five more countries visit, totaling 200. The yaks do the math. <laughs> yeah, the yaks are in the backyard with their, two, with their TI-84s. <laughs> Jeffrey, there's 200 countries. Marley's in the chat. Everybody say hi to Marley. Welcome, Marley. Boops Bucket, thank you so much for the super chat. Wow, he managed to exit North Korea with his life. I know, I know. He got out of there. <laughs> oh my. That'll do it. Crystal! So Crystal didn't go to the event. Girl, people are assuming and saying all these things, girl. Ask Crystal to her face why she didn't go. Crystal said there wasn't a lot of opportunities for her there. It was going to be quick and she would rather spend time with her kids. But somehow y'all got to make it about something else. When Crystal goes live, when she goes live every day, y'all can pull up on her 
and you can ask her all the questions. She can go live with me right now and we can talk about it. Just because one person of someone's friend group doesn't go, someone has to turn into a whole thing. But there was a lot of good experiences and there were a lot of bad experiences, okay? So a lot of people have questions about, I don't even know who some of y'all are talking about in the comments. Was I mean to someone at an event? Well, I didn't go to the event, so how could I have possibly had an interaction with someone? That part. Y'all keep saying, who the hell is Steven? Can someone let me know who that is? Who's that? I'm so confused. I didn't go to the event, so how could I have beef with someone I don't even know? Yeah, never met that person. So y'all are believing one side of the story instead of asking me any questions. Yeah, never saw that person, never met them in my life. That's so funny. So that person, whoever that is, I've seen them in my chat a few times, whoever Steven is, he must have told y'all some fucking lies for attention, because that's what people do. Never met that person in my life. He never spoke to me once. Never met that person face to face. But y'all are gonna make me the villain immediately and I believe this, this idiot. Christina! Thank you so much for the very generous super chat, Christina. Holy cow. Jordy, you can borrow my toy Palm Chi Pippi for your Jeffrey skit. She knows your voice at this point. <laughs> so happy that you've got all these donations. You deserve it. Thank you so much, Christina. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am, I guess, for, you know what, for the skit, I am going to, well, how many Pomeranians does he have? Like 10? I could get my hands on 10 Pomeranians. I could. I'll just put out an ad in, you know, Pittsburgh, whatever. <laughs> Looking for 10 Pomeranians to use one afternoon. <laughs> thank you so much for that, Christina. Oh my gosh, seriously, these, these gargantuan donations, I can't thank you guys enough. He sounds like the girl in high school who got called out and doesn't want to actually fight anyone. <laughs> Uh, Jordy's eating a yakadia. I'm eating a genetically modified yakadia. That is correct. Can you give a shout out to my dog, Giuseppe? He loves listening with me. Giuseppe! Hey there! Woof woof! Is he sick? He sounds different. Me? Or him? Well, Jeffrey has allergies always. Me? I have a little bit of a stuffy nose. But I've noticed when I live stream like this and I talk for a really long time, I create more mucus. So I might sound a little bit nasally. So I guess if whether you mean like both of us, like the answer is still yes. <laughs> Julia Gale. Really appreciate that. First time he said 150 countries. I swear I heard 100 filthy countries. My version fits Jeffrey's personality much better. He's the worst. <laughs> 100 filthy countries. Oh my gosh. That's too funny, Julia. <laughs> Jeffrey doesn't fight anyone. He just goes, I can't. I can't. I, I know. Like, I feel like as soon as anything gets real or someone gets back into Jeffrey's face, like the 2008 days of carrying around a bedazzled blazer or sorry, a bedazzled taser or a bedazzled uh, gun, those days are over. A bedazzled brass knuckle. He doesn't do that anymore because he got a bunch of felony weapon charges. So because he can't do that anymore, he doesn't have his weapons. So therefore, when Jeffrey gets confronted, it's just, I can't. I can't deal with this right now. I can't. Can you say hi to my kitties, Loki and Yuri? Yuri! Yuri! Oh, that's a cute name. Jordy, when's our next field trip? Eh, I don't know. Where do y'all want to go? I'm down. Watch Goldfish sponsor Jordy. I've I've never had a sponsor. Uh, although I will tell y'all, I got email today by some company called Magic Links, and they're like, "Hey, we like your channel. We would like to work with you." I don't know. Should, should I look into Magic Links? Where'd it go? Here it is. Yeah, someone named Melissa emailed me. They're like, "Hey, I'm Melissa. 
I work at Magic Links. And they were like, we, we help promote products from stores such as Nordstrom, Sephora, Home Depot, Walmart, Best Buy, and more. So I suppose in the future, if y'all ever see a Walmart or Home Depot advertisement on here, you'll know why. <laughs> uh, Ryu QRX, appreciate that. Handsomest man, handsomest man. <laughs> Thank you. What did I miss? Jeffrey just being a clown. Pretty much the whole night, Jeffrey being a clown. Welcome to the circus. <laughs> This is exactly why I clicked the live button. We're not doing it today. Nope. And we all know everyone screen records everything on this app, which great. We all know we're on the internet. Baby, I don't know who that is. Never met him in my life. I didn't even go to the event. Sorry, never spoke to him face to face, never shook his hand, never saw him. So, yeah, if I'm walking, Okay, the hotel was massive. The hotel is like three city blocks with all these different towers. So, I don't know what the hell y'all are talking about. I don't even know who that is. He saw me in the hotel. So did a million people, bitch. I had yellow hair. <laughs> of course, a lot of people saw me. I took pictures with a lot of fans, with a lot of customers, um, and I have no idea who that is. So, of course, someone I've never met wants to make up a lie. Y'all remember I've been on the internet for a very long time, right? Remember the YouTube days when people would make up lies every week for attention? I'm so bored. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <sighs> Hung me off on camera over and over and over again. We had fun. We even swapped phones and he was on my live and I was on his. It was all pretty good. And then later that night, we're, we're going to go have dinner and um, I always rent a yacht. Every mm. So I think he's talking about Muzz now. How he was switching phones with people and he was doing some streaming. He was doing some streaming. We're talking about Muzz now. Okay. Don't play with it. Every time I'm on the beach, whether I'm in Italy or I'm in France or I'm in La La La. And this is Barb's hasn't really traveled with me, so. Oh, good Lord. Every time I'm on a trip, I always charter a yacht. Always. Anytime I'm in Italy, anytime I'm in France, anytime I'm in Miami, I always get a yacht. That's just my thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. She don't know how I move all the time. I said, hey baby, I always get a yacht in Miami. Barb's also met my security guard. I have a whole team in Florida. Yeah. Oh my God, I have a whole team in Florida. Well then why couldn't that team come with you to the TikTok event? Why'd you have to bitch TikTok out for not having enough security? <laughs> I have a whole team in Florida. Okay. <laughs> 200 countries and yachts. Yeah, Jeffrey has 200 yachts in every country. Jeffrey has 200 yachts, one yacht being in each country. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. Uh uh. Do you got let me ask this. Do you guys find the Jeffrey stuff more entertaining than the Eugenia stuff? I'm just I'm just wondering. You know what? Let me do a poll. Let me do a poll actually. Cause I feel like with Jeffrey, we laugh a lot more. Who is more entertaining? And I mean you can you can answer this, you know, any way you would want to. Like entertaining in regards to the conversation, the dialogue, the commentary, um, the comedic level. You know, interpret this any way you want. But I, I am I'm just curious. Let's do a poll. Go ahead and take your vote in the chat. It is live. It's just different. Okay. So it's like they're not really comparable. I can understand that. Because I, I kind of feel that way about like Amber Lynn, for example, with Eugenia. It's like, well, who do you guys like more, Amber Lynn or Eugenia? And it's like, well, they're very different. <laughs> Jeffrey's entertaining, but Eugenia is interesting. Hmm.
the Hatter's Madness. Really appreciate the super chat. I want to see a picture of Jeffrey in North Korea. <laughs> Aren't you not allowed to take pictures in North Korea? Every time, like, every so often, I'll see a, like, clip on Instagram. It'll be, like, uh, never-before-seen, snuck, snuck-in footage of someone from North Korea. Like, you're not allowed to take pictures or video in North Korea. That's wild. But I'd imagine Jeffrey has the picture in North Korea, of course. He has a yacht there. Of course he has a picture. Cassidy Bertini. Hello. Thank you. Always a pleasure to see you live. I love you, Jordy. Oh, that's very sweet of you, Cassidy. Glad that you're able to join us tonight. Thank you for the kind words. Obliterated pantyhose. Really appreciate the super chat. Thanks for keeping me entertained while making dinner. Would love to watch more Jeffrey retro reacts. I would too. I would too. Um, I definitely need to find some clips that we haven't watched already, but a lot of those clips are very vulgar. And YouTube doesn't necessarily like those clips. I will tell you the two clips, or sorry, the two streams that we did, um, what was that, like two weekends ago now of throwbacks from Jeffrey, like MySpace era and everything. I mean, it, it's like every single scene that we watch, it's some type of slur. It's something offensive. It's some type of you know, like mother effort. Like the way that they speak in those old vlogs, it's just very, very vulgar. <laughs> Thanks so much, Obliterated. Kathy Brown, appreciate that. Good evening, Jordy. We have snow here today. Oh, boy. I am not envious of that, I will say. I am not envious of snow. I like snow. It's pretty. I like to ski, although I haven't in some time. But, um, yeah, no. Co covering the road and all that. Well, but anyway, regardless, hope you do okay with that, Kathy. Jeffrey solved peace in the Middle East. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jordy's Pretzel M&M's. Nagy! Hey, Nagy! Roll call. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Shorties. Hello, Nagy. Get a hello for Nagy in the chat. Maybe a heart hand or two. So, we said, hey, um, hey, Muzzy, you want to go to the yacht? I don't know if I can. And we're like, okay, cool, you do you. He ended up saying, okay, I really want to go. Great. 20 minutes later, he ends the live. And he's like, starts getting real weird, goes outside, phone calls, texting, and I'm like, oh, boy. And I don't know people, so he's already in my space and in my hotel room, and I'm like, mm, I don't know you, so what the hell's going on? Fast forward to... Oh my god. And the way that he's telling this story, trying to make it all sound so blasé. Like, Jeffrey's saying, oh, you know, I mean, we invited him to come on the yacht. You know, if, he, if I don't really know him, though. I mean, if he wanted to come, cool. He was already in the hotel room, and we were booking it. So, you know, he was welcome to come, but if he didn't want to, like, that's cool, too. Like, it was not like that. It was not this blasé. Jeffrey wanted him on that yacht. He has a secret girlfriend no one's been told about. She's watching the live and having a full meltdown of jealousy, which I don't know why, we're just friends, and starts going in on him. I have to leave my girlfriend's jealous. My dad also says TikTok's awful and we're, he's scared of this and da, da, da. And he also told us personal things I'm not gonna mention on camera. And I don't know, it was just this whole weird, bizarre experience. For me, I felt like, the girlfriend got pissed. The girlfriend, the, the, the hot, straight military guy, was jealous of Jeffrey potentially riding it. She thought that Jeffrey was going to play with it. The, the, the girlfriend thought that Jeffrey was going to drop it down low in the Punani would have been irresistible to the straight military guy. And then the thing about the dad. His dad thinks that TikTok is bad? Hmm. Personal stuff. Okay. Jeffrey was begging to ride it, let's be honest. I, I just, I don't like the retelling of this in such, like, a blasé manner. You know, like, he was welcome to come. I don't really know him, but, I mean, he was with us. It was you, Paul, Barbs, and Kemi 
and him. There were like five of you. It wasn't like, you know, a massive amount of people. And it was like, oh, yeah, if you want to come too, yeah, we have room. Like, there, it was a very intimate setting. So I, I, it wasn't like this, in my opinion, or like, I'd imagine. Jeffrey's pissed. Outing him. What does a grown man's dad have to do with any? That's weird. That's weird. I mean, I don't know if that's true, but if he's saying that Muzz could, Muzz said that he couldn't go on the yacht with Jeffrey because his dad thinks that TikTok is bad. Weird. 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 I wasn't even expecting him to still be there because at when we were at the beach, he expressed that he wasn't going to stay. So when I came to your room and I seen he was still there, I was like, oh, you're going great. And it's like he kind of just wanted to lash out and, oh, I'm leaving right now immediately. Um, and, and then he wasn't going to tell us at first. And Jeffrey said, well, is everything OK? It's personal. He was like, OK. He said so. And I was like, OK, well, we talk to you on the app all the time. We battle you. We've talked for hours on camera. And I was like, you don't feel comfortable telling us? He blinked. And then. And then he said. Um, my girlfriend is very upset that I'm around y'all and I have to go. You're just some dude we battle off TikTok. Like, this is what I'm saying is like, and really bond. Oh, see now. And because it didn't work out because he didn't go for it. Jeffrey's like, baby, who were you? Who were you ever? You're just some dude that we talk to on TikTok here and there. Um, why is your girlfriend? Je we don't even know you, honey. Baby, what's going on? So, you see what I mean? Because the straight guy didn't go for Jeffrey. Now it's like, oh, well, you know, let's minimize him. Who, who the hell was he? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Is this rehearsed? I know, like, like Barb's like with her gigantic framed glasses up to like a Microsoft Word document reading word for word. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can see the teleprompter in the reflection of her glasses. You're just some dude from TikTok, but let me tell you secrets. Christina, thank you. I love when people tell a completely different story, but you were there. In this case, the internet was there. I can't with him. <laughs> Two wildly different stories. I'm excited to hear Muzz's side. I am. I am. I am. I am. Sam, I am. Green eggs and ham. Thank you so much, Christina. Juniper. Going to 200 countries since 2008. He has been. He has been. We have proof. He said it. So therefore, that's proof. Barb's is backing his story. Oh, I mean, of course. Of course. Of course. Rejecting someone after they reject you. I know, it's like, I can't go on the yacht. Baby, we didn't care if you came on the yacht in the first place. What, do, what are you talking about? You're just some dude from TikTok. What? <sighs> like, Barb's got to meet Degord for the first time, y'all. They've obviously been, been talking, gifting, having fun, and, and great friendship for months. And when you meet someone off the app, you really hope you have a great experience. And if you have a secret girlfriend that you're not telling your gifters about and you're going to let someone dictate your fun. See, when I was in a... Mm, see, and you know what? Because of all this, I wouldn't be surprised if Muzz loses money now. Because the conversation that we had earlier about it's very advantageous for a very attractive straight guy in uniform to be on TikTok and present as single. So, like, I don't know. Is this shitty of Jeffrey for coming on the internet and telling this whole story? Because, I, I mean, like, I just know, like, when you think about it, when you think about it. No, I don't think I did, Mary. I just don't think I have gotten to it yet. I'm a little behind. Strippers don't tell customers about their boyfriends either, Jeffrey. It, it's the same kind of concept. It's the same kind of concept, Lydia. You're right. You're right. 
Yeah. Do, do you think like the first thing a stripper is doing when, you know, they're they're up with a client and it's like, you know, giving a lap dance or something? It's like, oh, hey, my partner wouldn't like this. But you know, like, no, they're not talking. It's, it's about the fantasy. It's about the illusion. It's about the uh, Jeffrey tells a lot of stories. You know, and it's like, oh, well, he told us a lot of other things, too, that we're not going to air out because, you know, that's not our business to say that. But, like, here you are telling the Internet about his secret girlfriend. Jeffrey always gets his story out first. A lot of the stuff he does is crappy. Crazy Cat Lady, Joe, thank you so much for the super chat. Cassidy, Bertini, hello. Your impression of Jeffrey will never not kill me. Always makes me smile seeing you live. Let me ride at Jordy. Heart dance back to you, Cassidy. Thank you so much for the kind words. Yeah, and if all he has is this experience with straight guys and DMs, but is shocked when a dude has a girlfriend. Very long term relationship. I didn't, I, that never happened. Like, what, what it is for me is that, like, uh, so you, if, so she don't trust you, and now you're letting another human being control you, which is right. so sad. And I'm going to say it because I'm a, almost 40. It's pathetic. It, was, it wasn't it, our fault. We, we, all we did was show friendship for a few hours and nothing happened. So it was so bizarre to watch a grown man crumble and run from the from him wanting to just have new experiences and new friendship. They're calling him a pussy. That's what they're doing right here. You're a grown man having someone control you over text messages and preventing you from having new experiences in life. That that's what he's doing. <laughs> If this were as blasé and minimized as Jeffrey is making it out to be, he wouldn't have cared to go live and talk about this. That's just it. Saltwater real estate agent. Jeffrey's pursuit of straight dudes always gets him in trouble. It never leads to anywhere good. I, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, when you look at it on paper, you guys are incompatible. Barb's looks like she's sneaking up on Jordy to scare him. <laughs> I always feel like Barb's is watching me and I have no privacy. All right, let's end the poll. Uh, overwhelmingly, you guys voted Jeffrey. So glad that you all are enjoying the Jeffrey content. It's definitely different than the Eugenia content. We'll say that. So maybe Jeffrey's more entertaining, but Eugenia's more interesting. Mm -hmm. Alyssa B., thank you. Gang is all here for your Jordy Cassidy. David and I, hello. David, Cassidy, and Alyssa B. are all in the house. Heart hands back to you three. Oh, you put three hard hands. That's funny. Jeffrey always gets what he wants, but not this time. I mean, he gets what he wants mostly. And I'm sure there are. I'm sure there are a lot of instances out there where he could buy love or he could buy a boyfriend who's not gay. But that's not the case for everybody. And I mean, you know, maybe this girl wasn't stupid. You know, maybe Muzz's girlfriend realized Jeffrey, his history, and he said that the girlfriend was watching the streams. I don't remember what exactly was said in the hotel room with Muzz, but maybe there was a lot of flirting. Maybe there was a lot of, you know, things exchanged back and forth, and maybe that made the girlfriend uncomfortable. Please say hi to my husband, Keith. Hi, Keith. Real Housewives of Casper, Wyoming. Oh my God, y'all killed me. 
Rice Noodles, thank you so much for that. Glad to be back from my agonizing trip. Your live shows kept me going. If you had beef with Jeffrey, both would have so many viewers. Battle of the year. <laughs> well, I don't know. If he gets demonetized on TikTok soon, then he'll have to come over to, you know, a different platform. And if he ends up on here, I don't know if YouTube battles are a thing, but... That would be interesting. Thank you so much, Rice Noodles. For me, it was the lies, though. The, the lies. lies. It was all the lies. And then it was all the <clears throat> wanting to put you on camera, but then running because someone else says that. Like, it, that was weird to me. Like, you, if you, you, and this is one thing I want people to realize Jeffrey does like men and women. However, just because you're a male doesn't mean he's going to try to hit on you. He's not hitting on D Gord. He's not hitting on Chris. He's not, you know what I'm saying? Like, just I have real you, friendships with exactly, men. What like, a concept. So, does Barb's want to sleep with everyone? She shakes her. Like, it's so, it's such a weird thing. But because I'm me, somehow it has to be something when I have a bunch of grown men as friends and it, it's just bizarre. So no, there was no intention of hooking up or doing anything at all. We were there to be friends. Oh, like so I, said, I was, was so surprised that he was even going to go to the yacht because he expressed he was going back home to a barbecue. So when I seen he was still there, I was like, oh, so you're going to stay. And then he, as soon as I get in the room, he's like, I'm leaving. I, my girlfriend is very upset. And it's just like, okay, whatever. It just doesn't but make sense. Wins. Another I, one was just like, yeah. Mm. There was no intention of hooking up. I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if y'all seen this guy, but who they're talking about and everything. But you look at somebody like that and you consider the situation at hand here. You don't tell me that there wasn't an inkling in your mind of like, oh, no, that didn't even cross our mind. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I can have friendships with grown men. <laughs> Yes, because you do that stuff all the time. Because you try to sleep with everyone at the jump. Yeah, like what would people, why would people think that about me? Nicole Garrett, really appreciate that. I missed you last night. You are my new anxiety medication. This is my happy place. Love you to bits. Oh, thank you, Nicole. They don't call me Prozac for nothing. <laughs> Uh, Boops Bucket, thank you so much again. A BuzzFeed quiz is needed. Are you a Paul, a Barb's? Are you the straight of the week? If you're a Jeffrey, you lose. You lose a personality quiz. <laughs> Select five Jeffrey Star Cosmetics product to find out what side character you are. <laughs> I like it. Thanks so much, Boops. Another one off the list. We keep quiet about these things. We really never go and say anything. We just let it be it. But I, but then then it goes. Why aren't y'all bad on this person? Why aren't this person on screen with you again? Yes, Why that's the thing. Is then people start and asking. What happens? It's something that happened in probably real life, and then it just that we didn't connect. We only connected on camera. Yes, and that's okay, you guys. So this isn't like f the other person. I don't even know him, but the the few hours of experiences means unfollow. Not my problem. I'm not going to gift my money to you anymore. You're very bizarre. Um, oh, because you didn't come on the yacht and because you have a girlfriend, that means no more money for you, baby. That's exactly what that means. You really only got live pro because of me and Barb's and you spit us out. So I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's pissed. He's pissed. I don't know what live pro is, but you only got that because of me and Barb's. So is this like a you owe us kind of thing? It's like, oh, well, you know, we gift you a whole lot. We got you a lot of social clout. And we got you live pro, whatever that is. Look how much we've done for you. And you can't give us one evening on a yacht? It's, it's the whole concept of trying to hold money over people's heads. That's exactly what it is. You know, it, it's like, well, you know, you didn't ask for it, but I've been so generous with you and I've taken care of you so that, you know, when a quid pro quo opportunity comes up, we expect you to follow through. So when it's your time to pay up, so to speak... And you come in with all of this I have a girlfriend bullshit. We're pissed. We are pissed. Mm-hmm. He played with it. 
He, no, no, no. This is what he did. He wrote it, and then he played with it. You don't do that. You don't do that. You write it, and you, you don't play with it. He did both. Uh-uh. Muzz, you're out. Chop. Shorty AK, thank you so much for the super chat. Rice noodles! Appreciate that again. Hey, Jordy, do you like dogs or cats? Or are just curious? I like cats, but I'm allergic. Um, I like dogs, too. So I guess to answer your question, I like both. <laughs> but I am allergic to cats. Ashley, really appreciate that super sticker. Thank you, Ashley. Avery McKay, hey there. Uh, greater than three, just an old-fashioned emoticon heart. Oh, that's very early 2000s aim of you. I th I really appreciate that, Avery. Thank you. Expects people to kiss his ass, literally. It's manipulative. It's very manipulative. This is the equivalent of I paid for dinner. You're right, Christina. You're right. It's like guy takes girl out to dinner, pays for dinner, you know, takes her somewhere nice and everything. And it's like, okay, well, I just paid for the $100 dinner. Aren't you going to sleep with me? It's like the expectation. And then later that night, when the girl doesn't sleep with him because he paid for the $100 dinner, then she's a bitch. It's like, no, that's not the way it works. Tiny, filthy, little insect. Thank you so much for the super chat. Jeffrey gets a yacht in every landlocked country. <laughs> that's a lot of yachts. Mismanaged Marissa, I really appreciate the super chat. You're the entertaining one, Jordy. Much love. Oh, thank you so much, Mismanaged Marissa. You're always so kind to me. Hard hand back to you. Who is Muzz? Muzz is this really attractive straight military guy that has a TikTok that they would come on here and battle with sometimes. But then they had drama with him in Miami. What what was happening? If we were used or if he really is just really insecure and letting someone... I mean, we all, we all have a friend, whether it's a, a man or a female... They're being controlled by their relationship, and it's sad. I've lost a lot of friends. They date someone, and all of a sudden, they vanish. We all have experienced that, right? The friend that disappears, and then when they break up, they come crawling back. And you're like, damn. Even more so is when you're on social media and you have a social media relationship, you're a content creator, you have to be a content creator. It cannot interfere with your relationship. If it does, then you shouldn't be in that relationship. <laughs> You got to understand when you're a content creator and people are giving you thousands of dollars and then they kind of want their back scratched and your girlfriend has a problem with that. Well, you just need to get rid of that girlfriend. That's not cool. And, you know, maybe you shouldn't be a content creator if you can't be scratching the people's backs that want something out of you. Muzz. <laughs> Do they hear themselves? Do they hear themselves? Uh, Jordy Straw, thank you so much for the super chat. Shannon Gibson, really appreciate that. An old Eugenia uh, Twitch would be fun for another stream. Yeah, I'd have to look into that. I know that there are a lot of um, clips of Eugenia's Twitch stuff up on like Love Eugenia Cooney and a couple other people that I follow here on YouTube. Thank you for the suggestion. Tiny Little Filthy Insect, really appreciate it again. He bought a yacht in every land. Oh, sorry, that came up twice for some reason. Yakverse. Hi, Yakverse. Hi, Jordy. Me and my boyfriend, Josh. Love you. Thank you so much, Yakverse. Cool username. Hello to Josh as well. Support Muzz. Well, I'd imagine that now that Jeffrey's not giving Muzz money and Muzz won't be featured with him anymore, he probably will lose some money in some regard, somewhere. Um, but, I mean, I looked at that guy's TikTok page before we pulled this up, and he has a lot of followers on his own. He has, like, over a million followers on his own. So I don't know if he necessarily needs Jeffrey, but I'm sure it didn't hurt to have him in his corner, I guess. Really very annoying. Thank you so much. Can you say how to, say, can you say how to Reese? My boyfriend is a fan now. Hello, Reese. Reese's PCs. wonder how many times he's been called that in life. <laughs> Glad that you could join us, Reese. Enjoy the show. Levuo. Appreciate the super sticker. That part really, really sad. So, do I regret meeting him? Absolutely. Um, you know, and I only want to say this because I don't think that people should support people that they've seen on screen with me when I'm not around. And if we just stay silent and never talk about these interactions, they're going to go continue to support people that are 
not great. Another TikToker came forward and was like, Jeffree Star was rude to me when I was in Miami. Okay. I have not watched this yet. But apparently this guy um, said that he like wanted to say hi to Jeffrey or something and Jeffrey gave him the cold shoulder. I have not watched this clip yet. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. Okay, it looks like there's a decent amount of footage of this. Okay. Um, Caitlin Ray, thank you so much for that. Hope your night's going good. Had my news broadcast for goat yoga yesterday and had the goats all up on me. Oh, you're the goat yoga girl. That's right. Going back this weekend to make goat milk candles for Valentine's Day. I had goat milk lotion. I bought it at the Cracker Barrel a couple years ago. I really liked it. I like goat milk products. Thank you so much, Caitlin. Fatal Bunny, really appreciate you gifting five people in the chat memberships. That's really generous of you. Debbie Hoyt, I pushed Jordy in the locker. Da fuck? <laughs> Thinking back to all the lockers that I had in K through 12, I don't think that any human could have fit in them. <laughs> uh, Eugenia Cooney, thank you so much for the super chat. Jeffrey is still hotter than Jordy. And more kind, and more generous, and more terrific, and more amazing. Um, any adjective that you can use to describe Jeffree Star in a positive manner, he is more of that in a person than I will ever aspire to be. You're right, Eugenia Cooney. Thank you. Yak first. Thank you. I love you, Jordy. Been here since 18,000 subscribers. Whoa, you've been around a while. Appreciate that, Yak first. A very big jumping heart hand back to you. Okay, y'all, um, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, I know that I'm going to get shit for this, but I think that we're going to end it here. What we're going to do tomorrow is we're going to talk, we're going to do this, we're going to watch the rest of this video, we're going to listen to what White T-Shirt has to say, and then we're going to listen to Muzz's side of the story. Mm -hmm. We're going to listen to what Muzz had to say because we've heard Barb's and we've heard Jeffrey talk about their side. But then we're going to go ahead and watch what Muzz had to say. I have the footage emailed to me from Jordy's Pretzel M&M's. We're going to look at it. Twitch time. Here's the thing. I'm thinking, yes, I'm thinking maybe in like an hour, maybe two hours, we'll go live on Twitch. So we'll be doing a little bit more of a hangout tonight on Twitch. The fun is not over, but we are going to end the YouTube live stream for here. I just want to acknowledge a few more of these. Queen Kiraway and D, really appreciate the super stickers, guys. Thank you. Ripped pantyhose, thank you. Got here late and watered far too many plants. Pantyhose crew, assemble. Well, assemble to get ready to leave. <laughs> but you got it in. Thank you so much, Ripped pantyhose. Parker, hey there. Gaslight gatekeep da fuck, boss. Eat those GMO zebra cakes and complain about not having a sex life. Mm-hmm. Slay, Jordy. <laughs> that was a whole whirlwind of a super chat. Thank you so much, Parker. Najee, hey there, appreciate it. Dalton, thank you so much. You just got back from the hospital. Oh no, I hope everything's all right. Seeing you live really cheered me up. Oh, that's awesome, thank you. That means a lot to me. Thank you for the kind words. Hope you're feeling better. Anita Marie, hey there. How do they know he is being controlled by his relationship? Seems like he was respecting his girlfriend's wishes as a good man should. Two sides to every story. Two sides to every story. So we're going to listen to what Muzz has to say tomorrow. We are. We are. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for anyone that sent in a super chat. Thank you so much for anyone who became a member. Thank you to everybody who participated in the chat tonight. It was a good time as always. I really appreciate it. What is your name on Twitch? Oh, Lordy, it's Jordy TV. One word. Um... But again, thank you, everybody. There were some massive, massively generous donations tonight. Seriously, thank you, guys. I can't thank you enough. That's incredible of you all. Um, hope everyone has a good, safe rest of their night. And uh, we'll likely be on Twitch in maybe like hour or two hours, something like that. So look for that on there. And I will see you all tomorrow. 